Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. On the sandbox version we play the new tournament class field files. We are at rank 28 with full maxed out accounts and full maxed out class 12 heroes. Well, let's speak about the tournament. You have here a very big map with a very lot number of resource containers. First of all, you start as usual try to collecting these resources. I for myself will play first here with the confederation and after that also with the resistance we have two battles in this video. Well, you have two ways how you can win this tournament. The first way is as usual in a pvp you just destroy the enemy's base. The second way is to capture 20 data cells. And then you will win this tournament before your opponent will do it. The first data cell appear next to each other's base. Everybody have one. And the other data cells will appear on the middle of the map. And they will appear very fast. That means it is not a good idea to ignore them. It's always good to try to get them. My enemy might so have some uh, coyotes here. And the class 12 Wolverine is driving here on the middle of the map. Well, I'm going with Vertex. I will speed up a little bit. He already got three data cells. Let's try to kill your one porcupine. Sniped it. Very nice. And now retreat. Come on, let's try to get this coyote. Very nice. And you also have hawks. Well, let's see what I can do with my zero film. Kill the porcupine. Kill the jaguar. Ah, and my vertex are very bad controlled from my side. And I tried to retreat with zero film, but this hawk got it. Okay, that was a bad idea at this point. HQ level 4 now. Rotex out again. Got another porcupine. And I try to hold the middle here. That Night Soul will not get too many data cells. He already got 6. And me only 2 on my side. Another porcupine and killed it. Okay. Well, the vertex are very good to be fast on a data cell and try to kill units from the enemy before he will get it. Very good for map control. Let's speed up more. Well, we buff got 6 data cells so far in the 8 minutes, that means you have 12 data cells in 8 minutes. As I said, they appear very fast and you have to be careful what you are doing. Ah, pressed on the wrong unit, my plan was it to snipe down his chameleon, but I did a lot of damage here to his uh, units. So, it looks like he's trying to collect the army to attack me, and that's what he did. First I try to make some damage with my Solaris. Beam. And I already got a class 12 beholder, and you see it have a very high view. Shield is activated and the nuke from the right is coming. You have additional hawks. And with my beholder I will unhide the units inside of his cloud. And as long as anti-air units are busy with my zero firm. I can use the vertex in the combination. 
After the battle I direct activated the recovery boost to fill up the HP of my units. And I already got 12 data cells so far. Trying to attack. And now let's combinate or let's try to combinate the beholder on the Leviathan. Now the Leviathan will get more damage with Seraphim and Vertex. And you will see how a class 12 Leviathan die very fast. Bam. But it's not easy to do that. Even when it looks like that activating Beholder using Xerofilm, using Vertex all in the same time is not easy. It needs a lot of micro. But when you do it, it's very helpful. So we got 13 data cells, 14. Knights will have not much time left until I will win this battle. And I'm going forward, trying to get a good position here. Mm -hmm. I think I hit him very good with the beam. Force firing, now trying to use my beholder. Nah. His uh, mole in front of his units, dang a lot of damage, I have to retreat. A lot of chameleons, bam. A lot of orcs as well. Not with me, my friend. Trying to kill them. And retreat. So. Again, active ability from Beholder and trying to kill this Leviathan again. Come on! One more hit. Another Kimmelian died and I will retreat with my army. And will try to bring up their HP. So 15 data cells is what we got here. Vertex out again. 16 data cells. Only four more to win the battle. Well, this kind of tournament will not take a long time. I think when you have a battle between 20 or 30 minutes, it's one of the longest battles you will have here. Ooh, hawks are out. Seraphim's active ability. And they got a very nice hit here. He lost his hawks. Well, actually, he tried to get data cells before I win. I already got 17. You have just a small army. Active ability from Beholder again. It's a very short moment where you unhide the units inside of the fog, but short enough to deal a lot of damage. Lost my zero from here in a very bad situation, very badly used. Another nuke from the white ten. This time he hit not really anything. Still trying to kill his low white in here with the vertex. But I have to retreat again. A lot of communions. Again, unhided his units here. Now I will try to unhide them. And I try with my shield inside of his cloud. I 
I need only three more data cells to win this battle. I try to reproduce my units here. This molar is very tankful. Very good beam. I killed a lot of units here. And now I retreat and again try to recover here. Vertex out. Trying to kill those porcupines. Got it. Nah, you have another chameleon there. Well, he got also 13 data cells so far. I have to be careful. Let's try to heal up the Solaris very fast. Another Leviathan. Again, I combinate my zero from with the vertex. I got 18 data cells. Two more. Killed Leviathan. So we hold those out again. And with the beam, I did a lot of damage here. I think I did here a big mistake on this point. Just one more data cell to win this battle. I'm fighting here too long with him in the middle of the map. I could easily rush for the last data cell. And that battle took too much time. Finally he lost his molar. And got it. Well, that's the first victory and after this battle we will switch to the resistance side. Let's take a look how I'm doing here. I like this tournament. It's simple but it's good and it's not too long. Well, again, I will speed up the resource container collection a little bit. I don't think that you want to see how I crap these boxes. That is, I think, very boring. And again, with class 12 heroes, we just switched the fractions. Let's see how I can do with resistance. So, going to HQ level 3. First data cell appeared again here on each other's map. Uh, base. Sorry. It's late at night <laughs> where I'm doing this video. Well, what I not check, he uh, unhided my assault here in the forest and didn't detect it with his uh, cyclone. But okay, maybe he was just watching for the data cells here. So HQ level 3, he is going for Xerophim. After the battle he wrote me that he rushed for this data cells. And that slowed him a bit down in HQ level 4. I for myself decided to go for some hawks, some porcupines, some jaguars and rasp. And that was a good decision. I got another data cell. His first vertex is out. And is battling my hawk. So, we have the better micro here. 
Come on, Night Soul. Don't fly away. I'm coming. Still alive. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. That was a good hit. But finally we got it. Now let's try to kill this cyclone before he will use it to unhide the units inside of the forest. Got it. But he got another vertex here. I have to fly fast back in the base. Porcupines are already here. And we got another vertex. So, coming resource boost again. Let's take a look in his base. He's going for HQ level 4 now. And you have not that many units here. So he will try to attack me. I think he will try to bounce about some time here. To buy some time. To develop his base better. So let's try to defend that. Resp into the back. I have just one more Jaguar left. Now we're taking his Xerophone with the machine gun from the Porcupines and Hawk. Got it. So. Let's try to get some data cells. And I'm going for my Leviton. That's just one way how you can play this tournament. But there are many ways. After the Mammoth got the buff, <laughs> I think we should think about using it to hold the middle. The Whiten is out. Again, killed a Vertex here. And I will speed up this video a little bit. And now I am going to attack. I love the combination of Leviton, Resp and Hawk, just because Leviton and Resp will take all damage while the Hawks can kill everything what you target. So let's see the Leviton nuke, it's coming in the combination with Resp, with the acid, bam, very nice. Very nice. Well, in the end, he had to try to uh, fall back with his army and try to rebuild some units. But this will be hard. So I scouted his base again, and he's, I think, trying to bring out a Zeraphim to attack my Leviton. That's what I think about it. So we got another Vertex. So my land army is also coming. Trying to get a good position here. Zeraphim is out and he will try to kill my Leviton. Best medicine versus that is Hawks and Rasp will activate the Misp 
and the Whiten will get less damage and the Earthworm will die. What is good because it's just a tier 2 unit and should, and should be not able to kill tier 3. Well, but that's it for that battle. I hope you liked it. I hope you like this kind of um, reviews I'm doing. I hope they are helpfully to get a short view into the events and into the modes. And we will see us on the next time. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Bye all.